So the natural next step is to find this location, x bar, where this resultant force is being applied. Okay, so x bar is measured from this point O, and it's the origin to this location where x bar is applied. Okay, to do that, to find this location, you need to think about these two pictures. Okay, this is the distributed loading. This is one single force. Now they're equivalent. Okay, this means that these two cases would have the same moment. Okay, the moment created by this distributed, this blanketed, okay, um, uh, force per area, a uh, force per length. Okay, it's the same. Okay moment created by this force right here. Okay. Now, so we're going to be using moment as the key right, to link these two together. Okay. So, right here. So this moment created by this FR, this resultant force, let's call it MR0. Okay. So, moment, okay, uh, resultant, Okay, about point O equals the sum okay, of the moment created by all the forces. Now this works for discrete forces, right? As before, but now uh, this force loading profile is continuous. So now we need to use integration. Okay, so left hand side same. Now right hand side is the integral. Okay, the integral of Force times length, right? The moment is r cross f, so you know length times force or force times length, right? So, so this moment okay, created by this distributed force is okay, we need to integrate this x by df, okay? And df is exactly this area right here this little area. Okay? This little area is exactly W times dx. W is this height, dx is this little width. Okay? So W times dx is df. But dx is also exactly equals to the area. And so that's the A also. Okay? Which is down here. Alright? So this FR is integral of Wx dx and that's exactly integral of df. Right? Because this little area just represents infinitesimal force. Okay? So, integrate it from zero to here, the final x, so you have swept the whole area. Okay, so now, back to this equation. Okay, so left hand side is the moment created by this single force, fr. Okay? And it's exactly x bar times fr. Okay, mm -hmm. fr is perpendicular to this, okay, this bar right here, right? So it's really our cross f. Okay, we talk about uh, the uh, the magnitude on uh, the the vector, but now we're only just concerned with magnitude, right? So it's this shortest distance from this point to fr, which is x bar times fr magnitude itself. Now I've defined positive as going clockwise. So this FR would tend to create a clockwise moment. So that's a positive number. Okay, so positive in front. Right hand side, X say the same. The DF is exactly W and DX. Right, so WX DX. So plug that in. Okay. So therefore. Right? So FR okay, is this guy right here, right? So we're going to plug FR back up here. So FR is WX DX. Right hand side. Okay. So from this relationship, I can just do some very quick rearrangement to find what we were trying to look for, X bar, right? which is integral of X times Wx with respect to dx divided by Wx dx. That's it. And 
this right here. Okay. Since integral of wx dx equals to exactly dA, right? So dA, when you integrate it, this actually becomes the whole area under the curve, right? And this, right, x stays the same, and this guy is also dA. So, so that has the same meaning, okay, as this ratio right here. All right. So that's how you find x bar, this distance, okay? So if you know this distribution, this wx distribution, whatever shape that is, okay? Some equation that, that might be given, right? Um, plug this in, okay? And this equation has to be just a function of x, okay? Could be like x squared, and it could be quadratic, and it could be power of third, whatever it is, right? Plug this in here, multiply that function by x, do the integration, right? Similarly down here, plug the function in and do the integration. That's how you find things. Okay.